what's up, man, players? Man, it's hot 24-7 here with a game against the sub. I'm the Vikings squaring off against the Dolphins in this game. Adrian Peterson just shows why he is the best running back in the NFL, best running back in the game. I'm talking about this guy just runs people over like they're bowling pins and just keeps it pushing, running full speed. But I'm running my 4-4 cover 3 defense, dropping him in the back. My controller just dies just like that. So he's able to get an easy pass right there. My controller died. Can't even use it. But the pass rush definitely getting in. Here I am running my nickel psycho, only rushing one person, using with Sanford, guarding everybody across the field. Next thing you know, Ryan Tannehill takes off and gets the first down, but he gets injured right there so the backup quarterback comes in the game and I'm glad because people always sleep well maybe not people but I always sleep on the fact that Tannehill does have jets I think he has like 82 speed or 83 speed or something like that he's faster than Aaron Rodgers I do know that so you do have to account for that but on this fourth and one look at this though on the fourth and one I run commit have about three four people in the backfield and we get the stop hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson and look at what he does right here just runs that dude over and keeps it pushing full speed does not lose a step and runs in for a 95 yard touchdown now as I was talking to a sub the other day I do enjoy using the Vikings they're a very very fun team to use very very fun but I just can't use them and run no huddle because Adrian Peterson always gets injured and once Adrian Peterson gets injured they're really not that fun to use Toby Gearhart is a good running back do not get me wrong but just using him just alone and not as a spell back is not something you want to do but here I hold him to a punt and make him punt the ball run the ball with Adrian Peterson second and 14 gets stopped third and 18 gets stopped fourth and 21 I'm dropping back I see X across the middle I throw a strike gets clothesline holds on to the football for the first down conversion that is what I'm talking about right there second and 11 and look at this big time play he breaks the tackle turns on the Jets goes field and look at this though nobody even comes close to tackling him this is why this guy is so good all he has to do is break one tackle and all of a sudden he is up the sideline for a touchdown and that's something not many people can do Jamal Charles no way is he running people over the way AP does no way is LaShawn McCoy running people over like that so it's definitely a nice weapon to have you just cannot run no huddle with him Harrison Smith everybody likes to play with him but he can hit he can catch he can cover the only thing he can't do is run very fast so you just have to account for that but if you take away the speed he's fast enough to get it done that's all I know he is fast enough to get it done and I do miss having guarantee interceptions because this guy did not drop any interceptions here you see him in run support still hitting third and goal and he runs in for a touchdown right before the half but we're still running the ball trying to make things happen get off me he sheds them off and now he is off to the races again off to the races again I don't even know what to say anymore. Adrian Peterson and this gameplay really has me wondering why I left the team. But I do know why I left the team. It is because of Adrian Peterson. Yes, the irony. But once he goes down, then, you know, I just do not like using his team. Throw a strike to Jennings. Call a timeout. Ten seconds left. I'm just trying to get something. I see RB. I throw it to him. He short arms it. Come back. Snag on him. Can we get a touchdown? We end up getting tackled at the eight-yard line, nine-yard line but we still get the ball back after halftime hand the ball off to Adrian Peters and I'm running a misdirection play and I just run that dude over and then we walk in oh we end up getting tackled but I think that was Brent Grimes that eventually came to tackle me but right next play we going for a touchdown look at this guy's message I did it lag out on purpose powered out would have waited till a tie game going into the fourth to quit and good game, but that's not skill, man. Just exploring this year's run happy game. Not much you can do with AI linemen throwing everyone on the ground plus AP. Exploiting this year's run happy game, man. As you see, message from January 7th. So I've been saying, you know, these are some old games, but exploiting the game, I'm trying to tell you, man, I don't know where that, that term came from, why everyone likes to, that's their go to phrase for something they can't stop. They just like to whine and complain, but I never knew running the ball with Adrian Peterson was an exploit, you know. I, I never knew that. I remember back in Madden 10, running the ball with Chris Johnson. Now, that 
was an exploit. People used to say, oh, you're running with Chris Johnson, he has 99 speed, that's an exploit, man. People just, I don't, so we can't use players anymore. We can't run the ball of Adrian Peterson because that's exploring the game and, uh, what's that word they like to use? Oh, cheesing? Am I a cheesy because I run the ball with the Vikings? Am I supposed to pass the ball with the Vikings? Am I the only one missing something here, man? Or do I just have nasty moves, nasty running plays that, you know, people just haven't seen it before. They aren't ready for a fourth and two. I run no huddle. I don't think he can stop two straight runs, but I'm not going to run right here. I'm going to pass the ball fourth and two, and that's what he does. That's what he does on fourth and two. He throws a two-yard pass on fourth and two, doesn't even make it anywhere close to the receiver. And now we're only up seven points. His quarterback is back in the game, scrambling third down and eight. I'm using Sanford, short pass. We end up tackling, and we hold the dude to a field goal, and that is important because now we still have a lead. We're up four points, running people over, making people miss, running people over, and that shit is tough to stop. Very frustrating. He has people in positions. I'm just running right through him, running around him, through him. It doesn't even matter, but he starts containing right here at the pass. I play maker up Adrian Peterson. I hit him for a nice little, what, uh, 40 yard pass right here. Nice little 40 yard pass. Still running the ball. Just keep going to Adrian Peterson. If it's not broke, don't fix it. End up getting sacked right there. Third and 20. What I'm going to do, pass rush closing in. I roll out. Next thing you know, I just take off with Josh Freeman, do a nice little move, get about 10 yards of the back, 12 yards, fourth and eight. And I throw a dot and we end up picking up the first down, hit my tight end on the crossing route. Adrian Peterson can't even receive the handoff because Josh Freeman gets mauled trying to hand the ball off. Fourth down and goal from the three. And this is the pass I go to. I miss X wide open. Wide open. X is wide open. And I just throw it to Adrian Peterson. Am I that much of a bum? I don't even make reads that I just throw to Adrian Peterson. So now we're definitely in trouble. 28-24. We have to stop him. Only a minute 14 left in the ball game. He's rolling out. No pass rush at all. He has all day. And we drop the give me interception. You're not going to get me the interception easier than that. That time we get, we drop another interception. We literally had about five people over there. He comes out and pans it heavy. We call a timeout. I'm blitzing this play. What's he going to do? Fourth, and, fourth down and 13. And he throws a lob, but we end up getting the ball. Easy interception. Again, another drop. Not really sure what's up with the drops. Not really sure what's up with the drops at all. But we just run the clock out with Adrian Peterson and we get the win. As I said, old game from January, but it's still a good game. So I decided to post it. I'm posting more old games. Basically posting all the games I ate. I either forgot to post or didn't get around to posting, but this play right here is very, very exciting. I don't like running out the clock, so I decide, you know, to give people a chance, some hope fighting chance. So I decide I'm going to pass the ball right here, and you just have to look and see what ends up happening. My goal is to hit somebody wide open. I don't know what I was thinking. This game is in January. I'm not, I mean, I'm not even about to act like I know what I was thinking right here. So I drop back. I just throw the ball to RB. Everybody misses him. We walk him for the touchdown. Run of the score. And that's the ball game, 35 to 24. Hope you enjoyed the game. Be sure to check out my trash talk video this Friday, man. I'm posting the rematch against me and that uh, top 10 dudes. So be sure to check that game out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game.